Thanks. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noel McFoy. And I'm Scott Ram. That was Asaph out and I on piano. Asaph, what song was that? That is the theme to Star Trek Voyager with Captain Janeway. Okay, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I'm in space. Yeah. It feels very like spacey. I wanted something different this morning. Disconnected. Nice, I like that. Thank, Thank you, Asaph. Asaph. Well, happy Monday, everyone. Yes. We hope you had a great weekend. It was beautiful weather. Lots of things were happening this weekend. And now it is finals week for all these college kids. <laughs> And what a great week to be indoors because uh, for the next couple of days, you can expect the weather to be a 70 to 100% chance of showers happening today and through tonight. And then, of course, Tuesday, you expect some more showers. And then, of course, by Wednesday, you can see mostly sunny with highs of 63. But, of course, the next two days, you're going to have highs into the high 40s and low 50s. But, of course, it is a warm morning this morning. So, hopefully, that might um, sneak through and we might have a nice the warm um, noon period yeah. mm -hmm. and then of course this afternoon most likely we'll see that rain that um the weather system is promising us <laughs> it's true but that's okay we kind of need the rain uh, because if you guys haven't seen we've had smoke there are controlled burns in the area and then there's a massive fire in canada and so all that have come down in missoula and as always things just kind of soak into our valley and get stuck there so hopefully this rain and wind clears the smoke out yep yeah early too early for smoke yeah but of course if you want to find more information about the weather and what's going on with the fire seasons you can law you can um, go on the internet now <laughs> you can go to weatherchannel.gov yes. um, you can also find out more information about us by logging on to wake up slash wake up missoula so nice for me to write out twice you can see all our homepage stuff which is mo our most current episode which you will see for today's episode on there soon enough of course you can see videos from past episodes um you can see um some past interviews yeah. especially with some uh, past uh flagship friday video of the week of course um some saturday drop-in some art scenes as well we always show missoula art clips on there and you can also log into our Facebook page because we um, post everything um, as as we get them. Mm -hmm. You can also like us on Facebook at Wake Up Missoula. And Missoula Community Access Television has got a Twitter. You can uh, check us out at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook. And to find out more information about MCAT, go to MCAT.org. Yes. But of course, there is a um, there should be a new city council meeting tonight. They'll be talking about all sorts of wonderful things about mm -hmm. what's happening in your city today. Um, but also, a bit, another big thing that, uh, if you haven't already read in the newspaper this morning, is that Bernie Sanders is apparently coming into a Missoula. Missoula Wednesday, yes. but he's not going to be here that long because apparently his tour is going to be Billings and um, Missoula on yeah. Wednesday. So, so he'll be in Missoula first, it looks like, because he'll be here at 10 a.m. Yeah. or 11 a.m., something like that. And then Billings is like a five-hour drive, so I don't really know like Four, how long yeah. he's going to talk. Is he going to fly? I don't know. No, I think he's taking on a bus tour. I have no idea. I would think it is a bus tour, but Billings is like five hours, so I hope he has like an evening rally well, scheduled. I'm sure he has a Bernie bus. He probably does have a Bernie bus, yeah. and Bernie bus probably has nitro in it, so he goes super fast. <laughs> and he's Bernie, so he can't get pulled over either. And our speed limits are 80. Who knows? <laughs> a lot of Montanans seem to like Bernie Sanders for the most mm -hmm. part. Yeah, it'll be very interesting. So that it says that the doors open at 10. He may start speaking at 11 or 10:30. So it'll be very interesting to see. Uh, yeah. So we'll keep you updated on that. I'm planning on going on going to it on Wednesday. So I'll tell you guys all about it on Friday. Okay. And um, we have a bunch of new programming mm -hmm. that is happening on tonight and tomorrow night. We have the presiden presidential lectures, the global public health. But of course, that's only tomorrow. But for today, we have um, some brand new programming involving writing at work. Um, we have the uh, UM recital, so of course this is towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. We show a bunch of recitals from a lot of musicians, um, and maybe you'll see um, some of these musicians um, when they go out into the real world and um, make a make yeah. it big. Maybe. But they were here first, and some and something like that. But then of course, uh, Missoula Urban um, Demonstration Project has a little talk. Uh, have, have been doing talks called Seed to Table, because you know rather than um, going to a farm. You cut out the middleman and grow your own darn food and oh, and just that's eat so it. Nice. Just like grow it and just eat it. Yum. And like you, you, you go to the store and it's like I, I I don't have like a lawn or whatever. Oh, here's some lights and lamps so you can grow stuff inside your apartment. Uh, yeah. And then of course then they get arrested and then they, you know you know all sorts of <laughs> things happen. I'll go but without further ado, here is what you guys can see new on MCAT tonight. And when we come back, we'll have um, you know, we'll talk about all these wacky events that are happening in the next couple of days. We sure will. <laughs> So I think um, 
that there's no wrong way to do it in my opinion. Um, as I think you know, Kima. <laughs> but that, uh, like I was looking at like Eula Biss's um, great collection, Notes from No Man's Land, and I was re realizing, oh, a lot of her essays, they were published in like Ninth Letter or S the Southern Humanities Review, you know, really. give more credence to the crops that you grow because you get to give them a little bit more attention since you're typically working on a smaller scale. So we're excited to talk, you know, work with you all today and talk more about how to plan a garden and how to do it well and hopefully have some good results that you can be proud of. So we, just to give you an outline of the workshop, we'll start, um, we'll do what I would call vision questing for your garden. So. Together, we'll talk about like how you go about choosing the seeds uh, and the crops that you want to grow. Hello, everyone. We're back, and now we're going to vision quest for events. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, up at first. So, uh, this is what's going on on Monday. We've got the preschool play group over at Roots Acro Sports Center starting at 11. This is for ages walking to five years. And they just set up different activities and stations around the gym and parents and children can rotate and choose what they want to do. Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, there's open hours in the makerspace starting 11. That's until 2.30. You can go in there and work on a project of your choice or learn how to use their equipment. Moscow Monday is at Montgomery Distillery at noon. Um, that's where they redistribute the wealth. A dollar from each cocktail sold it goes to a different, different nonprofit in the area. Uh, we've got a couple bridge groups. There will be bridge group at the Senior Center at 1 p.m. And then we have Duplicate Bridge. Uh, that's over at Garden City Bridge Club. It starts at 1 as well. I still don't really know where that is, but you can call 241-1499. Word play is going to be at the base of the warehouse mall at four. This is uh, word games, poetic exploration, free writing, and expansion through sharing. Uh, that's at Warehouse Mall, and uh, that's over on Tool Street, over uh, north side, west side area. Top Hat Lounge, starting at five until seven, has got Raising the Dead. This is their live recorded shows of the dead from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. They've got a uh, happy hour, trivia, lots of all that you could want for the Grateful Dead. Yeah. Ula is at uh, Target Range School at 6. And we've got a metal band that's going to be at the Wilma Theater. So Atreyu, Islander, and Sworn In starts at 7. Those are all metalcore bands, as uh, the event page said. So, uh, yeah, that's at the Wilma. This next event is pretty cool. Uh, over the UM Gallagher Business Building in room L14, this is called The Beautiful Nature of Montana's Night Skies. So starting at 7.30, um, John Ashley is a photographer and biologist, and it'll be the, his presentation is a uh, film and video showcasing Montana's naturally dark skies and its accumulation of nearly three decades of John's nighttime photography in Glacial National Park. So you'll be, it's guaranteed you'll see some sweet scenes because of that um, and then this next one is pretty cool too this is called first folio Montana um, and so I don't know if you guys have heard about the first folio so Shakespeare's book of uh, original like 300 plays or something like that from you know like his first book that he wrote in is going on a tour around the United States and so Missoula is uh, named Montana's host and so it's going to be in uh, the library on campus that starts the 9th. So they'll have that in the library starting the 9th where you can look at it. It's pretty cool. So we will see Shakespeare's, Shakespeare's works and creations. Um, and so that'll be open to the public and free. So in conjunction with that event, the Roxy Theater is going to be showing movies uh, that are Shakespeare movies, you know, that are redone, of course. So they will be showing Hamlet 
at the Roxy Theater tonight at 7.30. Um, and then I'm sure, you know, there'll be another one tom tomorrow, Wednesday or something like that. Yeah, so that's 7.30 at the Roxy Theater. Um, that's what, all I've got for you guys for Monday. There wasn't really too much going on. But if you want to find out more information, you go, can go to MissoulaEvents.net. But we're going to switch gears right now. We're going to go over to ASAF segment. I'm going to have to totally improvise this story from what I had planned since we can't use any of that footage or anything. But anyway, <clears throat> if I were going to pick the funniest female in history, I personally would pick Carol Burnett if it were me. <laughs> but the world has chosen our guest instead. And our guest is Lucille Desiree Ball, known to the world as Lucille Ball. And um, there she is. This, in one of her most classic moments, she took a job with her husband, Ricky, um, as a pitch lady for a product called Vitamita Vegemin. <laughs> I thought he was a singer. Yeah, I'm talking about the series, uh, uh, the, the episode. Oh. And this is probably the, the funniest episode in history of everything Lucille Ball has ever done this, this year. But to improvise, let me talk about her sitcoms first. First of all, um, Lucille Ball, is, she was an American actress, the comedian, and she was a model. And she started out as a blonde. She was not a redhead originally. But she was up against Marilyn Monroe at that time when she was first breaking in. So her agents and stuff decided to, she should dye her hair red. And it worked. It got her out of Marilyn Monroe's shadow and Jane, Jane Mansfield and all those other blonde bombshells that they called it at the time. So anyway, um, she started out modeling and she's also a film studio executive and a producer. And she's best known for starring in a series of sitcoms, the first one being I Love Lucy, which was probably her best work. Then there was a program called the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour. It wasn't a sitcom. It just would show up once in a while as a special that they had. There were 13 episodes of that. Her second series, which is my personal favorite, is called The Lucy Show. And what I liked about this show, they had a character, the actor Gail Gordon, who played Mr. Mooney, the banker. <laughs> <laughs> he was like this crusty old banker. And uh, Mrs. Carmichael was her character. She was the secretary, and she could never do anything right. And he always had the movie stars appear, like John Wayne, Milton Berle, Mel Torme, and, you know, just tons of other movie stars that have passed. And that's what made that different than I Love Lucy. Now, here's her husband in real life. And what's interesting, Noah, you might like this. Um, I Love Lucy started out as a 1948 radio show. Mm, cool. And they had a different actor playing the husband, but then when CBS wanted to do the actual television series, Lucille Ball didn't want to do it unless it was with her husband in real life, which oh, I don't funny. blame her. Yeah, they had a different standard at that time. You know, people didn't want to, like, do husband and wife scenes if, if they weren't, like, married to them at that time. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, after the Lucy show, she did another series called Here's Lucy, and this featured her children in real life. Lucy spelled L-U-C-I-E, Lucy Arnaz, and Desi Arnaz Jr. And in her final series, ABC was a show called Life with Lucy. And of course, times were changing in real life. So that type of comedy that she was doing just fell out of favor. But it was good to see older Lucy at that time before she passed away. And she started her career in 1929, and she's this. You might like this too, Noel. She's the first woman in 1962 to ever run a major television studio. The wow. first person. She started an organization called Desi Lu Productions. Like when you see some of these old shows of the past, and you see D E S I L U Productions, that was all set up by Lucille Ball. And two of the most famous ones was Mission Impossible and Star Trek with William Shatner. Wow. Those shows were shot at Lucy's studio. So I just thought your audience might like that. And finally, Lucille Ball was nominated for 13 Primetime Emmy Awards, winning four of those awards. In 1977, she was the first recipient of the Women in Film Crystal Award. She's the recipient of the Golden Globe Cecil B. DeMille Award in 1979 and the Lifetime Achievement Award, the Kennedy Honors in 1986, and finally the Governor's Award for the Academy of Television Arts and Science in 89. So that's just a cool. 
fly over of everything this lady's done because she's done so much stuff I couldn't even talk yeah. about it all. Yeah. Well, Lucille Ball is definitely yeah one of the most famous comedic actresses ever. So yeah, cool. and there would be no Star Trek or Mission Impossible any of those shows without Lucy. So mm -hmm. that's a great way to end it. Nice, thanks, Asaf. Sure. Okay, that was musical notes with Asaf at night, and it looks like we've got an art clip yep. that is going to be at the Missoula Art Museum. Mm -hmm. It is ending May twenty eighth. Yes, it is. Cool. So that's what you guys can check out at the uh, Missoula Art Museum mm -hmm. uh, at your leisure until May 26th. Yes, but so I've got a video, you guys. It's called, um, this is put on by Guts, Girls Using Their Strengths. And so this is a, I don't know exactly who sponsors Guts, but it's just a club for girls, uh, little girls to like, I don't know, like do things around the community and be cute and just be, I don't know, learn how to be good citizens in Missoula. Yeah. So they're having a poem Poetry Slam uh, sometime this week, and so this is their video about the Poetry Slam. It's not it's to really be confused cute. with butts, uh, yeah. boys using their strengths. Yeah. Which, you know, it would not work. <laughs> no, it wouldn't, but Guts is perfect, yeah. So here's the girls of Guts talking about the Poetry Slam um, that's coming up this week. <laughs> Fourth and fifth grade Guts girls at Russell School. GUTS is a program of the Missoula YWCA and it stands for the girls using their strengths. What? A poetry slam. May 13th, 6.30 to 7.30. Yeah! Why? Why? It's a benefit for ABC Ministries in Swaziland, an organization that cares for abandoned babies and finds a home. How? We are raising money to send to ABC Ministries through admission, donations, and a bake sale at the Poetry Slam. Students and teachers will read their favorite poems in the Russell School Gymnasium. Join us! All right, so there you have it, guys. There's the uh, Poetry Slam that's being hosted by Guts. Yeah. With, with in part with the YWCA. Yes. Yeah, so they're sponsored by YWCA. That's awesome. And we'll show you guys that probably another twice, a couple times more this week. Yeah. But that'll be on Friday. Yeah. yeah. Are we, do we have anyone from their organization just to come oh, on? I don't think, I don't we know. Just, I asked. You know. I think that's why we have the video is because I asked for someone uh, to come on and they it didn't really work out. Yeah, so that's why we've got the video yes. to just tell about it. I think that's perfect. I think so too. It was really cute. Those girls are adorable. 
Join us! Join oh, us! They're so cute. <laughs> after my after like ending with all the flagship stuff, all my after school stuff is over, mm -hmm. and we only have uh, like two more weekends of stop animation. Mm -hmm. So oh, let's let's talk a little bit more about that. So stop animation. It's every Saturday except for uh, the, the, after two Saturdays. Yeah. So now. after the twenty first, we are done for yep. the summer, and it'll start again um, after Labor Day, probably about September. Yeah. So basically, this is how we'll kind of like do it. We'll just like we'll. Um, um, have it on during um, like like before Memorial Day mm -hmm. and after Labor Day mm -hmm. so it's kind of like that kind of thing you know how like that's how they uh, figure it out in the park system in the park system once Memorial Day is through that's when they turn on all the waters and the um, turtles and all that stuff so yeah. for yeah. your kids to go through run through the parks and get wet on those things um, <laughs> and then, so really we're fun. just we will just be the opposite of that so yeah. Um, We'll, we'll do uh, for nine months out of the year, or eight, eight and a half, nine eight months. Eight months, so, uh, this school year, school yeah. year, September to May yep. is usually when we'll do our drop-in. Um, yeah, just, you know, appeal to the kids that maybe want to have some fun on Saturdays. Because the second in the summer, weekend they have fun in the September times. and towards the end of, of May. Yep, yeah. So that'll be next year, but, you know, this summer we've got our summer camps. Uh, but this has been a very good turnout. This has been our yep. first year doing our Saturday drop-ins. It's been very successful. We've had, at the very most, 17 kids, and at the very least, we had about two, maybe? One or two? Yeah, we've had two. But that was, like, the first, first... First couple days. First um, just this last weekend, we had six kids. Mm -hmm. Which is too okay. Bad. It, it was so drive. nice. Yeah. Farmer's market starting. Mm -hmm. um, it, it Like, it's great. And also, um, just one more thing about MCAT is that we have our orientation on this Wednesday. Day. I'll talk more about this on Wednesday again, but of course, orientation is if you want to get involved with MCAT and make your own program and you um, want to learn how to pick up a new skill in terms of using cameras, editing, and um, basically live production like we're doing right now. Yeah. But that's about that. Um, we have some um, more events with Noel. We do. Yes. So this is what's going on in your community on Tuesday. So, uh, starting at 10.30 over at the Missoula Public Library's Tiny Tales. This is uh, for babies ages birth through three years. And they sing songs and hear stories and learn finger plays and nursery rhymes. So it's pretty much to get your little one engaged. Uh, over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, they've got animal acting that starts at 11. Uh, so you can learn, you know, act like an animal, a cheetah, lion. A dog, whatever you want to do. Uh, over at Big Sky Public, uh, over at Big Sky High School in their library, they've got a stressless coloring and zen tangle. So it's at three thirty, um, and so all the coloring materials, the colored sheets, and everything you want to use to color will be provided. And it's pretty much to just like de-stress. Yeah, it's it, all ages are welcome from three thirty until whenever they kick you out. It sounds like a pretty good time. Uh, over in Frenchtown at 4, we've got a Frenchtown Branch Lego Club. This is from 4 to 6, and it's kind of like the Lego Club at the Missoula Public Library. You've got to be a certain age. Um, if you're younger than 12, your parents have to be there, and I'm sure they provide Legos for you. Yoga Warriors is at the Learning Center at Red Willow at 4. This is a specific yoga program for veterans and their caregivers. It helps with um, anxiety and sleeping problems and helping with PTSD as well. We've got Fall in the Parks that's starting. Uh, this starts at 5 p.m. tomorrow. It's free. And they're going to be at Wapikiki, let's see, Wapikia Park. I don't really know where that is. Um, but if you don't if you don't know where that is, like I don't know where that is, you can go to their website, www.ci.missoula.mt.us, um, and then just type in Fall Ultimate. You'll be able to find it in the search bar. That's the City of Missoula website. Uh, over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, and also sponsored by Families First Offices, from 6 to 9 tomorrow, is a class called Seven Principles for Making Relationships Work. And so uh, it's a two-part sem seminar. It's $150 per couple and includes two couples, two copies of the Seven Principles program, uh, and it's a workbook, and then also a copy of the Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work. There'll be freshmen and snacks and child care, including a pizza dinner will be available for an additional cost so it's tomorrow night from six to nine i'm sure you'll still be able to register so call 721-7690 over at the Missoula Public Library, we've got a community creative writing workshop that starts at six. This is a uh, drop-in environment focused on the creative writing workshop process. 
Uh, over at the Good Food Store, they've got a Couples in the Kitchen Easy Asian Cuisine Cooking Class. Uh, this uh, $35 or $60 per couple, but if it's a couple class, I don't know why you go alone. Eh, whatever. Yeah, so they're going to make Easy Asian Cuisine. That sounds good. Over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got System Check. The, this is the official gamers club for ages 19 and under. They've got board games, card games, video games, all the games you can want to game out. Um, over at the Missoula Senior Center is uh, African Dance Class that starts at 7 p.m. All levels and ages are welcome. And it's uh, drop-in dancers are welcome anytime. $10 per class or it's uh, $35 for four classes. It meets every Tuesday starting at 7 Okay, and then this next event is kind of fun. Over at the Roxy Theater, they are going to be playing Berlin's Philharmonic Beethoven Symphonies 4 and 7. Uh, this is put on by, it'll be Sir, Sir Simon Rattle is one of the greatest conductors of all time, according to BBC Music Magazine. And so he's going to be leading the Berlin Philharmonic showcasing Beethoven's number 4 and number 7. So that it'll be like a video of that at the Roxy Theater. And that's all I've got for you guys for events. Uh, as always, check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana website, uh, the Independent or the Missoulian for more events in your community. Wonderful. Yes, thanks. So were you wondering what I was doing back there? Yeah. I was um, doing a live, um, my own little live broadcast of behind the scenes while you're doing your live broadcast here. So on my iPhone, with, <sighs> and of course... <laughs> Let's hear it, Scott. So uh, on Facebook, they have this new thing where you can do live video from Facebook. Oh, weird. Yeah, so I went on our page on Wake Up Missoula, and I clicked on live video, and I started out uh, out of MCAT, and I said, come on, follow, I'll show you behind the scenes, and I showed them the cables and all that stuff. It was... Cute! And I just walked a little way here, and I stopped it just before you... That's adorable, Scott. Yeah. That sounds fun. Do you guys see how pleased Scott is? And you guys can totally check that out. It's on Facebook right now. It's just a minute long. You can kind of see a little bit behind the scenes. That's um, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I've been seeing that people have been doing this live feature, but I don't know about that. We can so do that. Like, like it's that. great because we do all Wake Up Missoula stuff pretty much anytime, anywhere if we want to just, and it, and it gives notifications to all our people who like us on our Facebook page. Nice. And you can totally like us on Facebook as well as follow us on Twitter and go to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wake Missoula to find out this find this and many more other videos as well but of course I want to um, jump right back and I want to talk about our stop-in animation our drop-in animation drop-ins yes Saturday drop-ins <laughs> stop-motion animation and we do live action too because the kids get burnt out and they can only pay attention for so long yep. it's funny that you would mention that because we have some live action video first uh, for you guys today it is a sequel to one of our other uh, stop animation um, live action videos of the uh, the week and it's um, this is a sequel called aliens but with cats <laughs> it's like uh, you know um, James Cameron's aliens but yeah. it's more like but with cats. Yeah, it's with cats. Yeah. Alright, without further ado, here is the new um, uh, live action video from our Saturday Drop Ins of the Week. Okay, guys, this facility was banned 15 years ago, and uh, he wanted it in, so here you go. It's better be worth it. I hope this place isn't boring like last time. I wonder if I can find any cool treasures here. Tread carefully, fellas. We don't want to get lost in here. We're just letting people work still. Must have been where all the people ate. I wonder if the fridge is still cold. Maybe. Uncomfortable. I think I hear something. right on your chair. Don't move! Don't shoot me whatsoever! Okay, on three. One, two, two three!
Into. I don't know. Watch out! Put the gun down! Why should I? Two, Two against one. one. My ammo's incendiary. I can kill both of you in one shot. You'll kill us all if you shoot that right now. You know that. We're all gonna die anyways. Why? What's going on? It's too late. Uh, we came here because we were, we were looking for the exciting experiment gone wrong, and then our crew disappeared, and I'm the only one left. Shh. Just keep your head down and follow me. Joe, is that you? Do I know you? What the heck is going on? How do you know each other? You may not remember me, but I was with you in the in the Marine Corps. Which tour? Top of the Spirit Head. Not many people walked away from that job. Well, I was the cleanup crew in the aftermath. At least you got my back. <laughs> Oh, I don't want it! Don't want it. Yeah. Well, there you go. They're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those kids are great. But yes, that's uh, what we do with them sometimes, is make movies like that, really cheesy yeah, movies. really cheesy. Yeah, they like it, though. They'd rather do the live action than stop motion, which we so we're gonna evolve it would next not year. rather do the live action than the stop motion. I think we'll just have MCAT drop-ins. We'll that just call them so MCAT drop-ins now. We yeah. won't call them stop animation drop-ins or any long title like that. We'll just call yeah. it MCAT drop-ins for kids aged 9 to 13. Yeah, we'll make live action and we'll do stop motion. Yep. It'll be good. Yeah, but you guys, I think that's about what we got for you. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Wake Missoula. If you want to find out more information about us, you know, Facebook, Twitter, yep. YouTube. All sorts Google. of great stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great content, mm -hmm. great times, fast times. It's a Monday. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramp, and here is Asaph Adonai on piano. We'll see you guys Wednesday. Bye.